While efficient energy practices can take many forms at nurseries, typically they involve energy used for heating, cooling, and irrigation. With ever-increasing energy costs associated with production, and especially for heating, the efficient use of energy can increase the profitability of a commercial horticulture operation. James Greenhouse in Colbert, Georgia, uses technology to significantly reduce energy needs. Energy efficiency in terms of heating costs, we use energy retention curtains in our largest growing area, we use aluminum shade cloth on the rest of the growing area. It reduces our energy costs by 30 to 50 percent in those, in those respective areas. One of the technologies we use here at James Greenhouses is Duofin underbench heating system. We have a boiler that pumps hot water through four fins under each bench and the heat is radiated via the fins and we use a styrofoam blanket almost as a curtain to keep the heat under the bench. There are also lower cost methods of warming plant material such as the lower tech methods used at Grandiflora in Gainesville, Florida. We have many Quonset style greenhouses here and we could not afford the propane or the heaters to keep them all warm for just a few months during the year. We only cover from the end of November until the beginning of April. So we've come up with a system that we think is very sustainable to warm the greenhouses enough just to keep the plants alive. We're not trying to get them to grow during the winter. We just want to keep them alive and get a head start on spring. So what we do is we have a lot of wells on the property. We pump that 72 degree water out of the, the deep wells and into these lines of polytube which are in each greenhouse. And then the lateral lines have these little spot spitters on them that uh, will send out a little jet, flat jet of water at night when it's below 32 degrees. And we've got it set in a way that it won't get the plants wet. It'll just go out on the floor and it will raise the temperature in the greenhouse to above freezing. And you may say that's a big waste of water, but we don't let this water just go anywhere. We channel it into swales that lead to a big pond where we recycle and reuse the water. Pumping water can also be a tremendous energy sink at a commercial nursery. Growers employ a variety of methods to reduce pumping cost, including pumping at night when per kilowatt energy prices are lower, or more technology-driven conservation such as the variable drive irrigation power supply as seen at Clinton Nursery in Havana, Florida. We are with KVAR and we have installed KVAR unit here which is a uh, way to conserve energy for the well that is over here. When this unit is installed it will change the power factor from a 0.78 to a 0.99 and by changing the power factor to a 0.99, we, change, we reduce the amperage on it. By reducing the amperage on it, we reduce the utility cost of it. Also, we reduce the bearing load on the pump itself, which gives us 20% added life to the pump itself. We will guarantee 6 to 10% savings. This being, we don't want to say that we're going to do something we can't, but we expect to save someplace in the neighborhood of 40% on this one right here and so far it is showing that savings on it. There are unusual and sometimes very creative ways to provide heat even for large structures. In this case, Mark Griffith, owner of Griffith Propagation Nursery in Watkinsville, Georgia, utilizes chicken house heaters that are designed to be nearly 100% efficient at fuel combustion to provide bottom heat in a repurposed hog house turned propagation structure. The former trough system now holds water that retains heat and results in increased energy efficiency, particularly on extremely cold nights. You may be wondering if energy efficiency can be a marketing tool. We asked Ken James, owner of James Greenhouse, just that question. Our buyers and our customers are aware of our sustainability efforts. Uh, things like energy retention curtains, ebb and flood irrigation, using uh, conveyors and, and rolling racks are all things that they, they recognize as important 
One, to save labor dollars, to uh, lower their unit cost, and two, to decrease our energy usage, just to become a little bit more responsible environmentally. But the real interest is in saving money for everybody. So our sustainability efforts are uh, good for the environment, but they're better for our customers' bottom line. Taking steps to invest in and implement energy efficient techniques will only help increase the profitability and sustainability of any commercial horticulture operation. Check with your local utility about an energy audit or local, state, or federal agencies about incentive programs to assist with implementing efficient energy practices. To find additional information, please refer to this document and others which are available on the project website.